G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zaboodle, and welcome back to Icarus, where we are finally back in the most beautiful of survival games, coming into the third beta weekend, into the Arctic update, which has brought all of the winter biome and the monsters therein into the game, and that is just, well, it's very scary, I'm very uh, nervous about discovering what is now in the game, but it's also super exciting, because we're getting more stuff to play with, and more areas to explore. But I've come in and I've perched myself up on this mountain like my inner mountain goats and found this pass that leads me down to the Arctic biome. You can see some of like the, the snow through the trees down there and the gigantic frozen mountain and you know that that's cold because it's really big and really pointy. That's a pretty much a dead giveaway that the ground is cold over there. But I'm not quite ready to go exploring in the Arctic just yet. I have a fair bit of work to do before I am ready because at the moment, despite the fact I'm a little goatee Jeffrey, I really am only armed with what? A couple of bits of blunt rock and a couple of sticks. I've got a nice bow, but... And, like, it got into the Iron Age again. But it doesn't really have a whole lot going for me that's going to keep me safe against all of the monsters that are waiting for me. So I still have to get some work done. But I can't do it up here. I've got to go back to my house. There it is, nestled in the cove under the cliff top. I think it's called a cove. An alcove, maybe? I'm not sure, but either way, here is my lovely little cabin. I've left the windows open. I've got my fire raging, which is lovely. It's a little cramped. I didn't go back to rebuilding like the lake house that I had the other beta way back when, but it is all made out of stone and a lovely place for me to sort out my life. So this is going to be my base of operations before I head off into the, the glacial pass if we're going full ice age. So I'm going to work from here to try and get my life sorted out. And I have kind of progressed the game a little bit further because like every time there's a new beta, the, the world is reset. So I've got through. I now have some armor, which is bloody lovely. But what I'm pushing for, what I really want, the only way I'm going to feel safe in this world is if I have a shotgun. All of my survival game experience tells me a shotgun is a life force. You have a shotgun, you can survive basically anything. And given this world is rampant with bears and now polar bears and whatever else is waiting for me up there, I feel like packing some heat like that is probably my best option. So that is my goal. That is what I want to get to. That is what I need in my life. So, that's the dream. What do I need? I need steel, I need epoxy, I need a couple more levels as well. Probably look into making myself a new bow as well. That needs aluminium and epoxy. So there's still some steps to go. I can't go to the Arctic just yet, but I need to gear myself up and get ready to go. I can't just go, like, lather myself in barbecue sauce and dive into a monster's mouth. That's not going to end well for me at all. So when you first drop into this new beta weekend, there's like a voiceover, like a narration that explains what's going on. And apparently, like the goal for the Arctic at the moment is to get up there, try not to turn into a human popsicle, and murder a mammoth. And then take like a mammoth tusk back to the space station for study or something ridiculous. But the whole game after that tells you, it's like, oh, by the way, this isn't just your regular ass like Earth mammoth. This is some ridiculously big, mutated, evil as balls mammoth that's got a skin you like you're a couple of pieces of chicken getting held over the fire so that's gonna be a whole thing but it also tells you that to go to the arctic you're going to need an oxygen bladder which i can get out of you and also some water skins as well because apparently like supplies up there just aren't really around so i've got some of those to try and keep myself up and about i can put some more meat into the fire actually there you go activate you get some extra light thrown about as well i know my storage here is yuck but i can't get rid of the stone in the back so i'm just kind of dealing with it as i can but i need to start working through some of these um what we've got some of these recipes and make myself some steel and i've got some epoxy already in my cheeky deaky mortar and pestle over here there you go got some epoxy going for me which is just sticks and then uh, uh that gives you that gives you tree sap, and then you get mix that with sulfur, and you get epoxy. So I've got that going for me already. Now I just need to figure out how to make steel. Checking through my uh, my recipes, I now have a bunch more skill points as well. So not skill points, blueprint points. And then I guess they like rebalanced how many points you get per level. So I came in with a whole bunch on offer, which was good because then I could upgrade and buy myself the leather armor, which I'm currently wearing. And also, I feel like I might need fur armor from going to the cold places. Keeping myself warm might be a good shout. I'm looking through here. This is where all this, uh, the steel tools are. 
But I can't find an ability to make myself steel. Now, maybe if I check in the, for uh, in the furnace even, not the furnace. So you give me iron and copper. Is there maybe a better forge that I need? Here we go. Concrete furnace. Uh, wide range of materials, including steel. That's the one that I need. I've unlocked it, but I haven't made it yet. But I need rope. Concrete mix. I have a cement mixer. And concrete mix. How do I make rope then? All right, I've got to find the recipe for rope. Which was way to like click it and get taken to the recipe that I need. Rather than having to browse through all of here and use any of my four eyes to find it. There it is there, actually. Nice and easy. Just needs fiber. Oh, okay. That might not be too hard then. There we go. Got some rope cranking out in my workbench. I probably should as well, actually, while I'm thinking about it. I should make myself an iron spear. We've got a bone spear at the moment, which isn't really doing much for me given the size of the Muppets I'm coming up against. Where's all my iron gone? Do I have it left over? I've got six in you. Did I have left any in the masonry bench? No, I didn't. Uh, okay. I'm going to need... That's going to be my main priority then, is to find a new cave that's going to have enough iron in it to make my spear. But I'm also going to need that for, like, the cement mixer and stuff like that, which I think was in here. Cement mixer? No, you're not in there. Where do you get crafted then? In a machining bench. And that needs... Oh, that is iron as well. Oh boy, this is about to get real resource intensive. I need to find all of the caves in the land and rinse them of all of their gubs. This might take some time. There's a, there's a chamois outside. Uh, goodbye, chamois. Um, well, okay. That's uh, not really what I was anticipating on doing today, but that's okay. I'll go and find one of those. But I do also want to mention, so in the last couple of weekends that I've played Icarus, I've tried to like... Like, I'd record for several hours and condense all that down into one, like, 40-minute episode. This time, I'm going to try and go through and put out a couple more episodes on it of more of the, the journey through it, as opposed to just, like, a much more highly edited down. We've got the other ones already. We've kind of experienced that, but I want to kind of, like, go through the journey of it with you guys, as opposed to just, like, slicing up some butter bread and giving you a couple of servings. Let's go the whole hog. Let's have a feast. Now, oh, goddamn- Oh, double goddamn it. That's a big berry ball sack over there. I only just left home, and you're already calling in a, uh, a weather event on me. That's not what I need. Do I have any vantage points around that I can try and fight a bear with? Because as much as I don't want to, he is made of delicious steak and he's also wearing a lovely jacket that I wouldn't mind taking off him as well. I'll mug him for his meat and his jacket. Do you reckon I could shoot him and make it back to my house? I mean, I should be going back there anyway, given what's coming for me. Yeah, all right. Let's do it. Come on, Barry boy. Come on, Barry boy, I'll shoot you once in your big old booty and then bail out into the shrubbery and hopefully lose you. Are you still coming for me? Yep, there you are. There you are. I'll shoot you again if you've lost where I've gone. I'm gonna hit you in the paw. Oh, he's, yeah, he's looking for me. He's looking for me. He's getting up like a goddamn fuzzy meerkat. Oh, don't get stuck on the rocks for goodness sake. Why do you pick a fight then trip over your clown shoes? I know it's getting greasy out here, but you got no excuse. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. I was still just trying to lure him back. Oh, there's a wolfy boy there, though. Apparently, they're all coming in thick and fast to try and find out where I am. That's all right. I can Robin Hood the Lottier and come out sitting pretty. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. You're just too delicious. Pat, pat, pat. I'll pat you first, then I'll take your jacket. Give me that delicious warmth. Take you. Take all that. And I have learned that apparently the appropriate way to break down skeletons is with a knife. I had been using a, um, a pickaxe to do it. Apparently, that was the wrong way. And sure enough, using a knife is super duper quick. Um, so I'm learning things. We're getting there. We're making progress, which is unusual for me. Normally, progress is a completely foreign idea. But I'm getting there. Oh, you are shitting me. Thank... Oh, my God. Oh, thank God I accidentally murdered that bear before and didn't lead him home to come and find his... Oh, God. His berry friend over here. No, 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 no. All right, he's, he's, uh, he's got my scent. There's wolves around here as well. Please stop. Please stop. Get inside. Close the door. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, they made it inside. No, no. This is why I needed the, This is why I wanted the bloody... Uh, the steel, not the steel, the, um, the iron spear. I can reach through the windows, though. Oh, please get some stamina back. 
you repair you real quick. I know you're breaking down my house, but that's just gonna have to wait for the moment. I'm alright. Yeah, you can moan and groan all you want, you snooty bitch. Oh, look at ya. <laughs> just relaxing, bud. Just having a nice little relax. Oh, oh, your head's kind of on backwards, though. Oh, I didn't mean to do that much damage. I feel a little bit bad by that, but jeez. The game knew I started filming and has thrown everything at me immediately. That berry bastard stuck his snoot through my window and apparently ate my window shutter. So I'm going to have to put a new one up in its place. Just there we go. I do like the aesthetic of like the wood on the stone. I think that looks rather nice actually, all things considered. It has some nice like contrast to it. But anyway, all that aside, I'll put all that... Ooh, raw prime meats. I didn't realize I got that. I didn't realize that was a thing. All right, well, there you go. All of you can get into there. I'll activate that with some wood. There you go. Get your cooking and roasting away. I did very nearly die, actually. Oh, I, um... Uh-oh. Oh, there's a wolfie. Okay, that's fine. Just stick your, stick your mug through me door and I'll slice up your nostrils. Gee, it's all happened to that here. But yeah, I didn't realize how close I came to dying before. Apparently, it was pretty bloody close. I, uh, I could have lost everything. Could have lost my tools, my lovely iron tools, very early on. That would have been bad. All right, are there any more monsters waiting for me in the cliffs at all? There's a couple of does and deers and bucks and bows and all that kind of stuff out there moaning and groaning the way in the tree line. Looks relatively okay. All right, I need to stop faffing about. I need to find whatever iron... Not that I was faffing about at all, actually. Whatever iron I've got left was in this one... What do I need to make myself the spear? So much more iron. Dang. All right, I am living next to a cave. I don't think any of the iron in here has respawned yet, though, which is a little bit upsetting. So I am going to have to go adventuring, get nice and brave, pick some fights with some more bears, and hopefully find what I'm looking for out there somewhere. Oh, man. I just, like... It's just so much. I'm sure you can tell that I am heckin' bloody excited to be back in Icarus again. I just really love the game. It's just a really bloody good time, and I enjoy my time in it. I'm talking quickly, I'm flustered, I'm excited, I'm all over the bloody place. Like, I'm a bit over the top already on a normal day of the week, but I'm, uh, I'm a bit nipply at the moment. All right, let's try this again. There is some wildlife in the trees, but that's okay. My whole, like theory on fighting caves is finding like little like outcroppings like this with some like those breakable walls to slink in behind the lines and see what's going on which is what i was intending and doing in the first place but it seems to be like maybe that's how they've balanced it that you have like your bears and your wolves spawning where caves are which kind of sucks for me because that's where my house is but i don't know I don't know. Until I, until I get that shotgun, I'm just going to be nervous and clenched and scared this whole time. If I get a shotgun and I can start... Oh, come on! And I can start parting the waters between a bear's ears like I'm goddamn Moses, then I might feel better about it. But at the moment, I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm just going to have to run away, put my faith in my athletic ability, which is not something I've ever really done before. But I'm just, uh, I'm just not, I'm not brave enough. I'm a brave boy, rarely, but I'm not brave enough for that. There's lots of, like, silica ore and stuff like that along the edge of the cliff here. Ooh, that's another little drop off there. There might be a sneaky deaky cave for me down there. And my little route I was taking to start with has already been blocked off anyway. Yeah, look how big that Everest-looking bastard is. Up there picking up radio signals, that's how tall that bastard is. Um, I might just have to, like, drop on down here. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm just gonna like stick to the edge and hopefully get lucky and find like maybe an eye note. Oh god. Ow! An eye note or something somewhere. Jeez, I tried to hopscotch from one little crest to the other and apparently just yeeted myself off a cliff. That is not what I needed. I've already had a run in with lots of teeth today. I need to break my ankles as well. Oh, baby, baby. This is what I needed though. This looks good to me. I mean, that's a real big cave as well. That's like the full-on cave of wonders with lava lakes and giant rubies. Better not bring my pet monkey in here. Give me all that copper I'm outside here as well. I think like the best plan, I don't know if bears can fit through those little slivers that you can cut into these walls, but that is definitely a breakable rock. Get all that copper. I didn't have any copper already. Pop, you're open. How are we looking? I mean, this is a big boy cave. There better be something good for me in here. I need the eye. I need everything else as well. Please don't be stingy. You give me everything my dreams need. Oh, yeah. This cave is sick. This cave is massive as well. All right. I'll start at the entrance. First thing I need to do 
is figure out exactly how far in I can get before the um the chance of getting pneumonia sets in. Which, by the way, people rightly pointed it out in uh in the last episodes. Are like, what? How do you get pneumonia when you're in a sealed spacesuit that gives you the oxygen? How does the moisture of a cave give you pneumonia? And I don't know. At some point, I think you're just going to be like, ah, oh, it has to be game mechanics so you can't just live in caves all the time without investing in a dehumidifier, which they now put in specifically because I complained about it. That may not be actually be the case, but that's what I'm claiming anyway. So yeah, how far in can I get before pneumonia sets in? About there. All right, well, I'll chuck you down like that right at the doorway so hopefully no fire will show up and start hacking away at this little shiny goodness. Give me all your lovely gob jewels. I want the whole lot of you. I don't, want, I don't want a slice. I want the whole pizza. Got myself a level up. I'm now level 24, so I'm only one level away from getting my shotgun. But also, more importantly, there's like a, a certain sense of relief every time you do get a level up. Because if you get a level up, you don't lose all your experience um, if you do happen to get eaten by a bear. Like, that's the price you pay. Other than losing all your inventory, which also... Well, at this point would suck an awful lot. Maybe I should cut my losses and start heading back home, but I'll grab those last couple of nodes here while I can. Yeah, like other than losing inventory. Oh, never mind. I'm now maxed out. I'll finish this one then. You lose your inventory when you die, that's fair enough. But you also lose all your experience on your current level, which sucks. That was like the worst thing that could happen to me is losing all that. I need to ditch some more gubs. I'm way down an awful lot. Can I get rid of anything? Can I like, put these in my hotbar? Does that like lessen my load? No, it doesn't. That's a bit upsetting. Um, I'm going to lose the copper then. I know it's a little bit controversial. Like, can I take you back, maybe split you and only take half of your home? No, nope, that's 102. I just need to drop like one. You drop like one of them. Wait, there was a hotkey for one, wasn't there? Ah, oh, it's fine. Whatever. There we go. No longer cucumbered. I can put all you guys back together again like a freaking Humpty Dumpty. Nope, my torch is too heavy. <laughs> my torch is too heavy to get home with, and it's about to be dark. All right, I'll drop one more. Is it shifts? No, shift splits. Is it control? Alt? Alt is one. There you go. Drop one of you. All right. Please don't be anything bad waiting for me out here. Oh, the, the temptation just to book it into the forest and try and hide is real. Oh, okay. Okay. Get away from the cliff face. The further away you get from the cliffs, the safer you might be. Just hightail it into the dense jungle and hope for the best. I just kind of had the thought that there was... Oh, there's a wolf right there. That's not what I was thinking, but there definitely is one. Where's your melon? Wait for the other side of the tree. There we go. Uh, I can't... I can't even take you with me, can I? Where's your body? There you go. Can I carry you home with me? No, your way... Seven kilos. All right, never mind. Well, I'll just leave you here to feed the bears. Maybe if the bear eats you, they won't come and try and snack on me instead. We'll get some sort of like uh, compassionate, uh, mutually beneficial relationship going on. Don't know if that's going to work at all, but it's worth a shot. But uh, there probably was a way for you to spend a talent point or something, or maybe like extra cucumberance, but too late now. I'm hightailing it. No use for hindsight now. I just need to get back home. I'm, just, I'm scared. I'm scared about this. There it is. There's my home. Just as the sun sets on the cliff that I call home. There's no bears here this time, which is extra bloody lovely. Oh, it's just like... The sense of dread when you actually have something to lose, when you know that you are one bad encounter with uh, one encounter rather with a fox eared asshole away from losing all of your hard work. My heart rate goes up, my body starts clenching up. It's just it just doesn't feel good. Nothing about that feels good. I'll save the coal actually because I'll need that. I mean, you need carbon to make steel. Carbon and iron make steel with various quantities depending on what you actually want to do. So I'll save. There we go. I'll use some wood. I'll save the coal for that for later on. Here you go. Activate you. Get you cooking away. Make me all sorts of the goodness. That I can make myself the spear and potentially feel a little bit better about myself. Yeah, see, look, there it is. Increase inventory weight capacity. Could have just done that and brought everything home with me, but you win some, you lose some. Nothing else in here really getting me excited. Fall damage. I don't think I need that, but given I just yeeted myself off a cliff, I might actually at some points. Um, but I've been going through the solo tree for the most part, though I've kind of got to the end of that for the moment, just increasing yields and things. So instead, 
Let's go movement speed. Swim speed, less important. Thirst rate, that's fine. Base health. I feel like I definitely need some more health more than anything else. I'm just too much of a galah. I can't help myself but get myself into trouble. So if I try and like pretend like minimum health is enough for me, I'm just going to get my shit wrecked. What do you need? Leather and wood. No whackers knackers. I have some in here. Leather and wood. I've been a busy boy collecting gubs. Iron spear. Craft. I can also make a crossbow and some bolts and things. I'm not sure if that's a good thing for me doing. Maybe the longbow is just all I need. Although now that I'm kind of pushing towards trying to get the machinist bench, maybe I'll leave that by the wayside for the moment. I've <laughs> I feel like once I pick a fight with something, it goes to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. Trying to reload a crossbow under pressure, not going to happen for me. So it cost me two iron ore to get an iron bar. Is that correct? Is that what I'm reading there? Is that how that works out for me? So I've got 100. It's making one now. And now I've got 98. Okay, so I should end up with just shy of 60 out of that one. And I've got another... Well, I've got another six in here. So I should get the 60 that I need to make the machining bench. There's 60 there plus the 10 epoxy, which I have hanging out in the old mortar and pestle over here. Give me you and you. Just chuck you in my crafting station for later. Nice. Okay. That coal can go in. All you guys can go in there. Just like as a... Just an easy way for me to dump all the gubs I might need for crafting for later. And then what am I looking at? Got that already. So then I can get my machining bench up and going. And then I think I'm pretty much good to start making the higher tier stuff. I'm just going to need so much iron. Just so much iron. Look, that needs 12. That needs 20. Jeez. Tree sap, that's all good. I've got plenty of that already. Tree sap's made out of sticks. I said that before. And then, where am I looking? I need one more level to get the shotgun. That needs steel ingots, which is going to be a whole other thing. Epoxy, leather, and wood. Oh, man. It's going to... This is going to take some doing. Hey, I don't know why the music is so, like, intense right now. It's like, it's really, it's really being ominous and stuff. It's really dark outside, but I don't think there's any real necessary, like, a need for me to sleep. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe, like, later on, like, monsters and stuff will come out at night time. Maybe there's more bears, but who knows? But, I mean, if I sleep, it, like, none of the crafting stuff goes faster. It just means that I have less time in the world before I have to go exploring again. If I'm crafting stuff, I may as well stay awake and just sleep when it gets closer to night time. Oxygen bladder, got both of my water bladders. I get both of you, actually. Stick you down into there. I can just go into the back of my cave over here. Fill you up. There we go. Nice and lovely. I don't seem to get the infection, like the parasite infection, from drinking out of my water skin. So I think that's kind of okay then. You can go back into there for a rainy day. Or a lack of a rainy day, I suppose. If it's raining, just stick your head up and get all the hydration you need. Nice. All right, we're cooking along. One thing I did neglect is I never actually put a chimney on top of my fireplace over here. So I'm just filling my cabin with all of the fumes and the smoky goodness. I've heard a smoky flavor been good, but not when it's inside your lungs. There we go. Aesthetics always matter, so happy to have that. I do want to try and figure out what I can do with this storage instead. I don't know, can I like, stick like ca cabinets to the walls or something? Not really sure what I can do with this right now. I don't have a jumble of nonsense there. I have to work like further back into the cave. Mm, maybe. If I get that machining bench going though, I'm going to have to find a new place to put it. Because at the moment, I've just got shit everywhere and no idea where to put things. Going to get some gunpowder on the craft in my mortar and pestle. It only takes charcoal and sulfur and I finally have a use for all of the random um, uh, gunpowder I've been storing around the place. I'll grab the tree sap. Quickly run over to you. Uh, and you guys can hang out in here for a bit. I wouldn't mind, actually. Got some sticks in here. Give me you. I'd like to make myself a new floor torch. Just because, like, it is now so dark in this cave. And I am moving further and further back into it. So, having some light, not a particularly bad idea. Um, there you go. Have some... Have some sulfur. You'd smell awful. Nope, you don't count as fuel. Why can't I... If you don't count as fuel, why can't I put you in the fuel slot? That makes no sense. In that case, then, uh, I would like to split you... Split you. There we go. Split you again. You can go in and activate that. There we go. Only a couple of torches gives me just enough light to see what I'm doing. Yeah, that's fine. All of my iron is now done. I'm still smelting copper though, so we can just leave that cooking. Uh, all of you go into there. Machining bench. 
Nice. All right, that's only going to take 20 seconds as well. It's all like how quickly everything crafts in this game. All you guys can go away. That can get destroyed. I have a lovely fireplace now, so not a whole lot of use for you. Sick bloody tits. Right, you... I guess just like sticking in here somewhere. Too steep, colliding. Come on, it's just a little gravel. It's okay, don't worry about it. I wish there was a way I could get rid of some of the stone that isn't mineable stone. Just gonna have some like more room to move around here, but I don't really think I can. I guess that'll just have to do. If I need to go further back in the cave, I can sort that out later, I guess. Right, so you. 20 iron ingots, rope, stone, and wood. What else is there? Dehumidifier so I can stop getting pneumonia, but that's definitely a later on thing given all the stuff that it needs. A canteen, which is gonna be a bigger water thing. Electronics, aluminium arrow, and my recurve bow. That's all gonna have to wait, Josh. You need steel first to mine that, guys, which means you need your cement mixer. I do wish there was a way, like in seven days, when you can, like, it tells you how much time it's gonna take to craft. Like, I know it gives you, like, little, you know, 16 seconds per pop kind of thing, but how much, how much time do I get per wood? You know? So I can, like, kind of gauge how much I need rather than just burning all of my wood in here for no bloody reason. Although I think you don't have too much longer left of you, so I'll take a couple of halves out of you. Because this got a little bit stormy outside, a little bit windy, which makes me feel less excited than ever. But I think as soon as the wind passes, as a deer family runs by, it's all right, I'm not going to murder you anymore. My um, my Bambi murder days are behind me until I get a little bit peckish again. But that's beside the point. Pretend I didn't say that. As soon as the wind's done, I think I'll sleep and then carry on with my day. I really wish I had my map back, though. So I'm going to figure out where all those little outcroppings are after we go find my mines. Oh, hold the phone though. I don't even need any more iron. I can just do it now. I have exactly, exactly 20 iron left over from making my machining workbench. That has come out lovely doubly. That's like a little sprinkling of fuck yeah on top of that strawberry donuts. So I need, I need stone, rope, and wood. All right, no whackers knackers. There's some rope, there's some wood, and there's some stone. Easy buddy peasy. Cement mixer. Yo, look at the progress I'm making right off the bat. Turns out spending a couple of hours just playing this game just to gather resources before I start filming makes everything go so much quicker. Uh, you're really big as well. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> God. I've been watching a little bit of Office lately and I'm not sorry about it. There you go. You can go there. Now for you, I need tree sap, silica, and stone. Okay, well, it's just a matter of finding where I've put all my gubs and moving it around. So the concrete mix is fine, but how much concrete mix do I need for the furnace? I need... Oh, oh, I need 20. All right, hang on, hang on. We've got a little visit done. Little rude. Stab... Oh. <laughs> well, turns out we don't have a visitor. We just had... It's like Uber Eats. It's Uber Wolves. Here we go. Take you, close the door, and just like chuck you down there, and I can skin you apart. I mean, look, I didn't realize that I ordered some snacks, but I'm A-OK -okay with a random bag of Doritos just showing up on my front doorstep. That's fine with me. Okay, we finally hit our limit because we're limited on stone to make cement, which is kind of important. I'm going to make five of those. So we'll get you churned on the way, and then I think cheekily jump into bed. Oh, there's now like a little screen. They added a screen to it. All right, that's lovely. Rather than just like going... And suddenly it's morning time. There's actually like a little time passing moment. That's actually really nice. That wasn't there when I played this morning. That must have been one of the hot patches that came through. I like it. All right, so I'm out looking for silica ore and stone. Oh my god, oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. That deer came in and just like inserted its antlers into both of me nose holes. Oh my god, it got so close to me, I was smelling its ancestry. You're doing it again. Look, I told you that I wasn't going to murder you today, but if you come in here and start poking holes in me house, I want to poke some holes in you. Fortunately, stone isn't too hard to find. I've got oodles and noodles of it just outside my front door, so I can ham out, come out here and hammer away a bit and get what I need. I don't know how much I need of the stone. Actually, there's some silica ore just over there as well, which is kind of lovely for me. Thought it was a frame rate drop, but no, we're okay. We're doing good. This game is 
It's the most resources intensive game I can remember playing. I try to run, this is the first game that I felt like I needed a dedicated like recording PC and then like a gameplay PC because trying to record gameplay and play the game at the same time is just too much of a burden on my computer, which is saying something because it's not even a bad PC. And that's saying, uh, well, that's, uh, it's, that's putting it mildly is what I'm actually trying to say. So I don't know, now, I've, now I have that itch to buy a whole new computer again and it's just, it's just an itch I didn't want again so soon. Ah, damn it. I finally run out of cooked fish. I need to go fishing at some point and get some more sushi on my plate for all those lovely health benefits. Can you close, please? I'm pressing E, not F. My house is still looking nice and lovely. The stone house, like even a small little cabin, having like the backyard that's a okay cave for extra expansion is extra bloody lovely. This tiny little house here is just doing the job for me as is. You. No, nothing in there to smelt actually. I wanted all this stuff to make cement with, didn't I? So you. That one, I want to make 15, please. Craft you, it's going to churn all that out for me. Nice and easy. So I still need iron though, because once I have that, then I make uh, the forge, which was in here. Have I unlocked it yet? No, it was in the, it was in the machining bench, wasn't it? This one. My, <laughs> I'm trying to think, I'm forgetting how to speak. Concrete forge, so I need that. I need the epoxy, which I have. I need a rope, which I have. I need 12 more irons. I need to find another cave. Oh, I'm having fond memories of like the first beta weekend when you can just walk outside and there was just a couple of random little um, to, I don't know, iron nodes and stuff just like strewn about. I miss that. I don't think that's a thing anymore. Oh my God. Oh no. No, 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 I was being good. I was being a lovely little lad just frolicking in the reeds and pulling up all the weeds out of your garden, Berry Boy. What are you doing? Why are you so intense on ruining both me and me house? Fortunately, I am a human and I've got the old, uh, the old noodle upstairs does a wonderful job of building anti-bear structures. Come on, bud. We could have lived in harmony, but no, your bear necessities clashed with mine and now you're fucking dead. I want to mount you on the wall as a testament to all your other barrier friends. That's not how you fucking greet your neighbors. I do enjoy, by the way, that like having the windows. Windows are great. Windows are aesthetic. I like enjoying the view, the vistas of the world that are laid out. Oh, fuck. That are laid out before me. But no, turns out... <laughs> get wrecked. Beyond that, they're just a wonderful little murder hole. Who needs arrow slots? Who needs little pits you can pour boiling tar or water off? Nah, I ain't about that life. I'm about a little nodule in the side of me wall where I can poke out some eyes with. So I need what? I need 10 more epoxies. I've got some trees up on me already. Okay, uh, so for 10 epoxies, what do I need? I can already make two, so I need eight more, but you take... Four tree saps, so, geez, four eights is 32, so I need 32 tree saps, and I should have enough sulfur. All right. Uh, with all of the sticks I own in the world, I still can't make enough sappy boys, though. Look at how fast that's churning it out, though. Ringing out sticks and getting that juice out of it like it's a freaking olive tree. Nice. All right, you. No, don't do that. Make. For some reason, sometimes it gets stuck, like, trying to make the max amount you had before. So I'm what? I'm... Are you shitting me? I'm like four, four sticks away from having everything done. All right, at least it's not all that much then. There's sticks scattered and spattered about all over the joint out here. So I'll just go adventuring through. But I'm not a fool, you know? I may get cocky as shit when I'm in some little lovely little barricaded house over there and murdering bears left, right, and center. But pull me out into their territory, suddenly I'm a little bit skittish. It's like sharks, you know? I'm built for dry land. Sharks are built for the water. I'll get cocky as shit on the beach and like teabag the ground and show the sharks who's boss. But if I get in the deep water, I'm well aware I'm going to get shredded. Here we go. The last of the epoxy. Get you done. Nice. Okay, so you need to hold... Oh, I left it all in the bloody mortar and pestle. I always think that it automatically goes to my inventory. But it's absolutely... Oh, the gunpowder... Gunpowder can stay in there in case I lose it for later. There you go. I always assume it gets crafted in my inventory. It's definitely not the case. In you go. And that's everything green except the iron. All right. Well, at least now we know our mission. I'll put all of you guys back into there. Um, Spore beater's bowl, apparently, for some reason. The rest of the craftables go into this bit. In you go. Uh, coal can hang out in that box, too. There you are. 
I'll get a fresh water skin. I've got my food. I've got my garbs. I've got my everything. We're basically there. Okay, I'll just leave all that crafting away at home. G'day, bud. How you doing? Are you the one that broke down my door before? If you are, I have a vendetta, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Don't particularly speak dear, because I'm not Dory trying to speak to a whale every now and again. Um, where am I going to find one? I need one iron node. I need one iron node because I need 12 irons. I need more than that, actually. I need to find another cave. I need a new cave. New caves brings lots of iron. Lots of iron brings shotguns. It's a bit of a, a bit more of an involved process that I'm used to going through, but hopefully it'll be worthwhile. We're so close, I can almost smell the acrid gunpowder smoke. Now, I don't think there's going to be caves on the outskirts, though. I feel like these are all solid mountains. I feel like I'm looking for, yeah, like those overhangs. That looks promising. That's a sheer angle on a very rounded cliff. And those sheer angles seem to be, will seem to indicate where those little mines are going to be. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> I'm so conditioned from anywhere, anytime in seven days that anytime there's a frame drop like that, I immediately panic thinking a hoarder spawn. The hoarder bears sounds like a really bad idea to me. We good? Let's have a squiz. What you got for me? Ooh, there's some shiny things in here, and I like shiny things. Call me a crow because I'm building the nests. What are you? Platinum ore. See, I need the um the steel pick to be able to mine those like better ores as well. So that kind of proves to me that I'm definitely on the right track, but not quite there just yet. In fact, after I get that done. Tier three. What level's the shotgun again? I need another uh, level up, actually, but I just need the steel ingot. All right, once I'm there, I'm good. The first 32 steel ingots I get are going into a shotgun. I know I need a steel pickaxe, but I just want that boomstick. Double check it's clear out here. It looks like it's going to be. Oh, the frame rates are still struggling, though. Going to make it try, <laughs> try and make it to the water. So if a bear does show up, it's not going to be too bananaed. Is that a bear or is that a log? I feel like if a tiny deer just like trundled past the snoot of a bear, he might just go like, no. Nah. And just like eat that little morsel without really blinking one of these beady eyes. I mean, you should enjoy those beady eyes before I gouge them out. My frames are struggling. Now, nah, it's just a log. Okay, that's fine. We'll make it back home again. I have the iron that I think that I need. We should be just about there. I still have that level up, but I assume I'll get that relatively soon when the next bear comes a knocking. Literally. Can I just point out how freaking adorable my little cottage here is? It's got a slate roof, stable walls. I'm happy here. I am A-OK -okay with living here. That is for damn sure. Uh, you need to have all of that. There you go. Activate you. Get your burn of the way. So I needed 12, didn't I? 12 is going to give me the forge. And then I, hopefully I can actually use that to smelt other stuff quicker. I'm assuming it smells quicker. At least I bloody hope it is. So maybe I'll just leave... Well, it was like 24 in you that I needed. I'll take all of this stuff, because that's all about to be redundant. I'll sit here, and I'll wait until I have the 12 of them. Grab that, make the better forge, make myself some steel. At least I hope I can. And then make myself the shotgun. I am a bee's dick away, only a couple of bear murders or some wolfy snacks away from uh, getting my level up. So we're right on the cusp. Here we go. This is the last one. Give me that iron goodness and bonk. Nice. All right, grab you. Take all of you out of there and then I can go. Actually, need to grab that. I can now pick you up and replace you with something better. I think to get my level up, I'll just go and find anything that's living or anything that's not rock. Mine that or murder that, whichever one comes first. Craft you up and just get that next level up because I just need it. I just need that shotgun. If I'm going to go parading and masquerading through this world, you're tiny, actually. Why are you so tiny? I was expecting you to be much, much bigger. You're half the size of the last furnace. All right, fair enough then. You take coal or wood so I can put you back into them along with all of that goodness. I mean, that's not counting seconds anymore, is it? So I feel like that is definitely going faster. So all righty dighty then. The rest of you guys can hang out in there and I'll find some storage for the rest of you. But while you're smelting along, I will grab all of that. We're all good. I'll nosh on some berries. Have a cheeky nom. All right. Cool. So I need I need another like 20,000 experience, which will take a little bit of time. So what do you need for steel, though? In fact, before, Dad, thank you, before I use all of my iron, steel. There we go. Steel bloom. 
That's fine. How do I how do I make steel bloom though? I know I researched uh, researched it even before. Now I just need to find it. Here we go. It's made in the mortar and pestle. Ah, it's iron and coal. I knew I'd seen it before. All right. Well, I need that coal, please. Give me you. I have no idea how much I'm gonna need. Oh, so I actually need to use iron ingots. That's weird. Not iron ore. It's the same. So six iron ore gives me three iron ingots. So that's not actually a benefit at all. Why can't I actually make you? Did I leave all the iron in here, actually? Yes, I did. Give me all of that. That's weird. There's not like... You can use both of them, but okay. Sure. Fine. Whatever. Um, 23. Mm, it's all of my iron. It's all of my iron. That's so expensive. Mm, okay, well, I might just go. Let's just go like 12 for the moment. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I'll just get you cranking away to start with. I just need the steel. Then I can figure out what the, the, the next step is going to be. But while I'm thinking of it then, shotgun, you need four epoxies as well. But other than that, I've got everything going. 32 steel ingots? Ah, oh, shit. Please don't tell me it's one to one. It's going to be, isn't it? Oh, I need so much steel. I just don't know if I have the time to get this done. Anything I come across is getting murdered. I don't care what it is. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's a leafy green or a berry boy. It's all getting wrecked on the blade of my knife. Everything needs to die. I'm just, I'm just running out of time to film this episode. And I'm desperate to get that shotgun done. Just so then, like, the next episode, I can just focus on banging up to the Arctic and getting that done up there. And not having to worry about really anything else. That's the dream. That's what I'm hoping for. I have no idea if it's going to work out for me or not. But once again, I'm scour... Was that a bear or was that a deer? It sounded like a deer. I'm scouring the world for another mine. I need some more iron. I knew the grind for resources was going to be intense, but this is a bit ridiculous. Oh, I've made it back to the waterfall. I recognize this area. I've headed south far enough and I've made it back to my old stomping ground, which means the bonus is that I do know where... Oh, come on. That should have killed him. I do know where a... Um... There you go. Uh, mine is going to be. That was not a clean kill at all. I feel a bit bad about that, but I feel like you should have died from the headshot at the start. But beggars can't be choosers. I'm edging ever closer to getting my level up. We're almost there. Now to save the iron and we're golden. Oh, there it is. Level up. Take all of you. Job bloody done. Now all I need is just to find the, uh, the mine. I, I don't remember where exactly it was. Uh, it was over here somewhere, I was pretty sure. But now I just don't know. Oh, good. Now a bear shows up. When I needed to murder something big and fluffy before to get the XP, bears were nowhere to be seen. But now that I don't need them, sure enough, that's when you decide to make your appearance or your appearance. It doesn't work at all. If you were a deer, it would. Where the hell was it? I feel like I lived here like four seconds ago and I'm already lost. I, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I feel like this is where my house used to be, right? This feels, this all, feel, oh God, out, sorry. This all feels very familiar, but there's no, there's no cave anymore. It's all been like blotted up. There's no more iron. Am I just losing my mind or I could have sworn this is where I used to live once upon a time. Oh no, this is where I lived in the first beta weekend. It's a completely different spot. All right, that's why the cave isn't here. Okay, well, that's a bit annoying. I've got my hopes up there for a second. I just need to find it. I just need to find a hollow with a couple of bits of iron and I'm laughing. Where the hell is everything? Oh, yes. Here we go. It's late at night, but I've stumbled upon something at the very least. Let me in nice and quickly. It's getting late at night. I don't really have the time to be faffing about anymore. Come on. In, 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 in. There we go. All right. I can... Oh, this is a really cool cave as well. I can almost taste it. I can almost feel the shotgun throb it in my hands, ready to blow with the ears off all of the bears that come my way. Let me in. There we go. All right. Where are the iron nodes? I need them quick. I need them now. I have all the iron I can find. I'm really quickly just going to charge out here a little bit, grab a couple of bits of fiber, because the last thing I want to do now is risk it to try and get home in the middle of the night. So I'll quickly craft up you, chuck it down at my feet just inside the door here. That'll do. Quickly enter the bed, have a cheeky little kip. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. 
Uh, I think home's over that way, but my map doesn't work, but it's all the <laughs> inclination I've got. That'll do me nicely. 32 steel out of you. We can run over here and you can have all of that and that and all that's left. Oh, baby. Boom. Shotgun. Also gonna need to make some shotgun ammo as well, I suppose. Gunpowder, copper ingots and epoxy. Well, I have most of that going for me already, but more importantly, give me that hotness. Oh, I've waited so long. This has been such an endeavor to finally have a boom boom stick. Oh my goodness gracious. If the Muppets raid my treasure island, I'm going to... Well, they're going to show up with spears. I'm going to have my big stick of death and all the pigs will run away. Oh, you're so lucky I don't have ammo right now. Give me two seconds. I'm going to find some ammo and then go and murder something. Here we go, bunch of buckshot, double O buckshot as well. It's expensive to make, but definitely gonna be worthwhile. You can hold on to all of that for me because I'm sure I'll need whatever you've got for me later on. Gunpowder as well. The rest of all this garbage can hang out in here. I'll come back for you on a rainy day. All right, I'm ready. Oh, put those slugs inside. Let's go blow some smithereens away. I can't do it, can I? Bambi can't be the first murder with my shotgun. I bought it for bears. Not Bambies. Oh, I already feel guilty just for considering it. I'm already feeling the guilt and I may as well get up and about. Bams, how you doing? Oh. <laughs> it felt so good, but it's also so bad. I'm sorry, Bambi. It's just, you were the first thing that I saw. I didn't want you to live in a world that had me with a shotgun. It was a murder out of sympathy so I could spare you the anguish of knowing that Josh has got a gun. Ah, oh, the oh shit shotgun has come back and mur immediately murdered an infant deer. Oh, I'm a monster. I'm a monster. Damn fucking right I'm a monster. I'm the monster of the fucking world now. Bears be damned. Josh is going to ruin them. There we go. That's a target I feel a bit better about murderizing. I've got a couple more rounds left, but... Oh, me giblets. Oh, the shotgun has opened a world gaping enough for me just to slice and slathe me gooch through. Floss me gooch with the world. Oh, man. Just, it just, it just feels good. That'll rustle your eyebrows. That's for damn sure. Oh, this game's a blinder. This is an absolute peach of a blinder. Oi, come back. Come back. There you are. Oh, <laughs> three rounds, three kills, and every one of them as satisfying as the one before. I don't fucking care if I'm murdered, Bambi. I'm having a time. Well, you know what? If ever there was a time for a hero shot, it was now. Let's uh, go to the old first person camera. There we go. Can I lock the camera even? Because I would like to be able to see my face. I'm dressed in the leather of my murder victims. I need to flip this around. I need to bask in my glow like I'm King Frickin' Julian. There we go. Look at him. Look at him. Draped in the skins of all of his victims. Standing in front of his lovely little cottage. Despite the, my bloodthirstiness. Despite all of that, I still think this house is one of my favorite houses that I've ever bloody made. Just because, like, look at it, though. Just because, look at it. Can I get, like, an open hand? There we go. That'll do. What a lovely little nestled little gobble of greatness for me to harbor all of my murderous instincts. Oh, what a time. I'm so happy. Oh, so I need to now, like, I need to do a bit of work to get enough ammo to go up into the mountains up there and go and slay whatever comes for me. But just having this bad boy throbbing in me hands. Oh, it's a great time to be me. You are very lucky. I'm firing my firing pin, but nothing's come spurting out the end of it. But that is A-OK -okay with me. So I'm going to have to leave this episode here. A successful day. I said it wasn't going to be like another 40 minute episode. This may be like more than an hour. I don't even know anymore, but I'm just having a cracker. A pill. A peachy bloody keen time in Icarus. So I'll have to come back and continue my Icarus adventure in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter 
If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.